Hey folks, Techniverse here. Today we're taking a look at the latest version of Creality Slicer. This is Creality Slicer 4.8.2. It is actually a skinned version of Kira with a few modifications, so if you're used to Kira, you'll be used to this software, but this is the software they recommend you use with your Creality 3D printers. That said, let's check out the download page because that's where this question originated. I had a gentleman who was asking me, if I could update the download link. They've had several versions of this since the last time I made a video. So here it is, pretty simple. Creality.com slash download. In here you're gonna find all of their firmware for their Ender CR resin sets and the item that we want in the software tab, the first tab that opens up on this page. And as you can see, there's several different versions. The first one listed as Creality Slicer is a Mac build. The second one is the one that you're going to want. Now, this is the latest update. There is a more stable version down here, um, but that isn't the latest version. We got the latest version. So let's jump over and check it out. We're going to get started here. Go ahead and read the disclaimer. Hit agree. And it's just going to run over basically the same stuff that, that the uh, Kira does when you launch it. All of the machines in here are Creality machines. We're going to go with an Ender 3 V2 because I have one sitting here. And we're going to hit next. I'm going to go ahead and turn the volume down on my phone so you don't have to listen to all that dinging as it happens again. There we go. And you can see we have all of our stuff programmed in this program by the people for Kira. It does have a purge line in here and all of that good stuff. So let's go ahead and hit next. We should be all set up. Now, as you can see, this is very familiar. It looks almost exactly like Kira. So. Um, I do have Kira open. We can jump back and forth. If I open the settings tab here and go to custom, you can see that they have changed the color of a lot of this stuff. But basically, let's drag this in here. Basically, it's all the same settings, okay? Um, in Creality Slicer, it says shell instead of walls, but all of the settings are still there. Um, there is a lot of cool stuff in here. Spiralizes in here, just like in Kira. Coasting. Of course, it has uh, tree sports in here as well. Um, and you can go ahead and, let's see. Oh wow, actually I thought it was updated to have tree sports, but it does not have tree sports. And that is a big downfall. Those are most of the supports, most, most of the time when I use support, it's tree support. But this slicer can be used perfectly fine in conjunction with the printer's that are uh, programmed for it. You can also add your own custom printer. It doesn't have to be a Creality printer. Let's go ahead and pull in that same rod model here. Now this is just a simple cylinder. As you can see, it shows up in yellow right off the bat. Let's get a quick slice and see what the standard settings look like here. Um, pretty quick to slice, jump to preview mode, and um, the color scheme is not bad. It's pretty crisp. Uh, there are ways to make your own color scheme and do this all on your own. You could put your name here um, instead of Creality. You can change that. As you can see, though, it is exactly just, just Kira. They do have a couple of extensions in here. Um, Anti-warping. That's got to be a draft shield. That's kind of cool. Um, support blockers, custom supports, per model settings, all that good stuff. So looks like the infill is set to trihexagon there or, or triangular and yeah pretty simple guys this is the slicer that is meant to operate for you on your Creality machines now if you are going to download this slicer and check it out definitely do it's pretty cool um, there are some other color schemes here for preview mode uh, we're gonna go back to prepare and go ahead and just close this so um, yeah definitely worth checking out but it is pretty much the exact same thing as Kira You'll notice that in Kira, I have settings that I don't have in Creality Slicer. It's not as pretty colored here, um, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, you can always just change the color yourself by changing the theme. Um, and that is found by going to, uh, let's see, Preferences, Configure Kira. Uh, the theme is right here. Uh, and you can pick any of these. You can also make your own. I have a few that are available for the most part. That is the only major difference. Uh, there are a few more tools, as I said, in Kira than in Creality Slicer. So definitely, definitely check it out if you're using a Creality machine. It does lead to some pretty nice prints with the settings that they have programmed in. And as you can see, 
when I add a printer in Kira, let's try this real quick just to kind of demonstrate. So I go to printers, go to add, and add non-network printer. Now if I go to the Creality section, see it's got all these other definitions in here. If I go to the Creality section, it's got, ooh, let's say five, 10, it's got about 18, 19 different options. Um, in the Creality Slicer version, let's try this again. Extensions, configure Creality, printers, add, and, and as you can see, they have a lot more definitions. Each of the individual variations has its own definition, and there are a ton, a ton of Creality profiles. So check it out. Let me know what you think, guys. Leave any questions you have in the comments down below. I am putting this up in my Kira Questions playlist as well because there are people who are curious about the differences. Really, uh, Kira is a better piece of software in general because it is a little more advanced, but Creality Slicer is right behind it and dedicated to Creality machines. So if that's what you're running and you run them consistently and pretty much only Creality, definitely go with this slicer. So. That's going to be it for this one, guys. We'll see you in the next video. I appreciate you stopping by. I know there's nothing fancy going on here. If you have any questions about how to run this, like I said, you can just check out my Kira videos. And I'll put a little playlist up in the corner here, uh, actually way up, up, up there at the top, that will have uh, some Kira settings in five minutes or less. It'll go through each of these individual settings, and they do still all apply to the settings in Creality Slicer. So... Please, if this was helpful to you, leave a like down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash that bell icon so you can get notified when I post more videos. I do quite often post videos on different slicers, checking them out and comparing them. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely, definitely subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Tegnivorous out.